Today's video is going to be on a addition to the same smart CNC machine, the 3018 Pro, and this one's going to deal with the capability to laser engrave on pens, uh, the pen blanks that have already been turned, with either images or text content or signatures. And this system is going to be a little bit different than other videos that have been shown on YouTube so far. Uh, I did try an earlier version that I did see on YouTube. And I'll give you a little overview on what happened there. Uh, it didn't work so good for me. Uh, maybe it did for others. but uh, So I come up with a little bit different approach. And we're going to show that in this video. Okay, the original design which I got off of uh, YouTube and was used by a couple of different uh, providers included the use of rubber bands to coincide or create movement in the twisting of the pen blank as the bed of the CNC machine moved forward and backwards I tried this and maybe it was just because of the type of elastic bands that I used but uh, it wasn't too successful as I can demonstrate right here. Now my diameter as, as the bed moves sometimes you see a lagging between the start and the finish and that's because of the, uh, the elastic bands now I do have on the bed itself a uh, ruler that gave me a rough estimate of the actual horizontal movement of the bed and I did a complete rotation of this and it only registered about an inch and three quarters and it should be about two and a third inches for movement of the blank itself so I wasn't too happy with this and I think it has to do with the, the angle of the, of the rubber bands and the closer they get to a tie point uh, the faster the movement because of the change in elasticity between the larger and the shorter sections of the elastic band so I wanted something a little bit different and I wanted something a little bit more accurate so we'll go into that next the objective of this particular add-on was to get the pen blank to turn in conjunction with the movement of the flat platform on the bottom. So this would basically take the place of the Y component of the X and Y carving scenario. Now the X is going to be controlled by the horizontal movement of the laser itself going back and forth there is no Z component and uh, that stays constant throughout the the laser etching process but the big issue was when we have a round surface such as a turned pen plank was to get 
this to rotate the same way as if we were going to be doing a flat image on the bed itself. Uh, limitations are is that we would have to know the full circumference of the pen and the image that we wanted to put on the pen blank if it was going to cover the full circumference of that round surface or only a part of it. So using uh, the simple math functions to convert the diameter of the uh, the turn pen blank itself to a circumference it's basically uh, the diameter times pi which is 3.14 and we've done that conversion and then that tells us the full circumference of the blank if we're going to do a portion of it where we only want to have something visible on one side of the blank then that would be like half of the circumference or even something smaller some uh, relative fraction of the full circumference of the blank itself now in this particular application we've used a quarter inch rod and it's suspended in this case by these brackets right here and they're mounted to the uh, the short tower pieces that we've affixed to the original frame of the CNC machine. So we've got two two towers that we've mounted and these are actually lateral bushings but uh, they make a convenient turning point and we made the quarter inch threaded rod long enough to go out to the outside edge where we could actually lock them in place only on one side the other side is free floating but this one has a, a butterfly nut and a quarter quarter inch hex nut that are locked in place so that this will not move side to side and that's done on both sides of that mount now what we've done is we've taken a, a, a notched belt with the appropriate uh, notch pulley right here and they are matched with the number of you know equal number of notches per inch or per centimeter and we've just mounted those on either side of the platform now these are just plastic mounts that we've cut off and made and then we've got securing uh, blocks that actually lock those into place now originally when we first did this we didn't compensate for the elasticity of the belt itself and the actual position as the position changed the belt could actually become loose so <clears throat> what we've done is taken a couple of quarter any quarter 20 uh, bolts with offsets and we've got a spring and just a plastic uh, oversized washer it's actually an insert that I had in one of my junk drawers and this rotates on the spring inside the spring I've just got another segment of quarter 20 threaded rod to gives it a little bit of stability and as the platform moves back and forth this keeps the belt taut against the pulley that's mounted on the uh, the quarter 20 threaded rod and it is secured by a uh, hex head screw to the quarter inch threaded rod we take the pen blank itself along with the bushings that are used to carve that and then I've got uh, three spacer bushings on either side and these are all seven millimeters so they're very uh, very close to the the quarter 20 threaded rod a little bit of play but once we do is we lock them down with the butterfly nuts on both sides 
and this uh, as we'll demonstrate works very well and is very precise using this type of belt system okay the final topic with regard to this modification or addition to the to CNC machine deals with the homing feature that I utilize uh, this particular model doesn't come with the homing switches or the uh, exterior switches that show the position of the XYZ platforms but I did add those which uh, all terminate up here on the top uh, in the back of the circuit board and there's some for the X and Y and there's a single switch for the, uh, the Z which you can see well behind these wires anyway <laughs> didn't want to focus on that but that monitors the the extent so when the platform or the uh, the laser actually reaches the maximum height that will stop automatically but I had an issue with the platform that would once we initiated the homing sequence then I had a problem with the uh, the belt tensioner not working properly so when the uh, laser control software is first started up the first thing that needs to be done is to reset everything well, we gotta get connected first we'll, we'll do that once connected then we need to reset everything so it knows where to start and we'll unlock it okay now I can't move anything until I establish the home and once we do that then everything on the uh, CNC machine is going to go back to the predetermined homing position which in this case would be at the the very front of the platform and on the left side so I'm going to activate that now and you'll see what happens the Z platform will first determine its position and then it moves over to the left as the front of the platform moves to its very front position now you can see the tensioner here is actually in front of the support bracket and that worked out great and that deals with the the elasticity or uh, the looseness of this spring that allows it to actually fall forward but it's still at the top level so that was critical in establishing the height for this bracket and as I move the, the device forward you can see how the spring tensioner falls right into place and that works real good for our application normally for the laser engraving I will move the, the center shaft the quarter 20 into the middle of the platform that gives uh, nice movement for the belt and everything stays locked in place.
this series, and uh, that is we've actually done one production model so far using our new attachment to the CNC, and just wanted to share that with you. Uh, we'll get that right up here. And as you can see, we're able to do some pretty detailed work with that attachment. So we hope you've enjoyed this little uh, video. Maybe it'll give you some ideas for upgrading your machine. Uh, if you want to do some laser uh, engraving on your, your pens. Best of luck, and until the next time.